This is the Tom Anderson Show, broadcasting live from the KVNT studios in South Central Alaska, USA. Live and local, 7 to 9 a.m., Monday through Friday, right here on KVNT, 1020 a.m. and 92.5 FM. Your best source for morning news, traffic, and weather. Streaming live online at TomAndersonShow.com. Phone lines are open. Dial 907-357-5868. That's 357-5868. Politics and news from a guy who's made it happen. Your morning drive just got a whole lot better. Good morning, America. Here's Tom Anderson. Indeed, here I am, my friends. And as we delve into our notable and quite famous YouTube host series, here's one of my favorites. And I tell you, this gentleman is the master of the chuck wagon and the grill. He's a humorist. He's a storyteller. He definitely walks the walk and lives the cowboy way. His name is Cowboy Kent Rollins. You can subscribe to his YouTube channel, and we'll show you how to do that online when we make a video of this interview. Good morning. Good afternoon. Your neck of the woods, Kent. How are you today? I am doing good, my friend, and thank you so much, Tom, for having us on. Well, absolutely. You and Shannon, I got to compliment your lovely, your intelligent, better half. Shannon has been so kind connecting you to this show, and we're just really blessed to have you. you both engaged with us, and I know we're going to get into books and how you're traveling around the country, and you're really becoming a, a household name in country cooking. You know, we just heard and listened online President Trump, and I won't get as much political as pro-America, talking about farmers to families, their food program, 16 billion bucks going to farmers. And I listened to Zippy Duvall, who's the American Farm Bureau Federation president out of Georgia, and I know you're out of Oklahoma, 400 head of beef. He's got a huge cow herd, third generation uh, rancher. And you're, you're the same. You've been in this in this world all your life and so is your family what do you think about kind of off topic but what do you think about uh, farming and and ranching right now we really need to help them don't we after COVID-19 yeah I mean it's uh, the, the the farm and ranch background uh, I grew up with and there's so many of us across rural America and bigger operations and uh, they've always been there to provide food uh, to provide uh to vegetables to provide support for for America, and uh, they're not going to quit at this time. Uh, sure, they need a little help. They do. Uh, you know, in in our part of the country right now, we're we're beginning the, the stages of an early drought again. Which we, I don't think we got a half inch of rain when Noah come by. But um, <laughs> it's uh, it's something that um, this country's always thrived on and will continue to, and I always always have said that rural America is the backbone of this great country and um, them farmers and ranchers out there, if we can help them out, uh, it's time because they've helped us out for a long time. Couldn't have said it better. We're talking with Cowboy Kent Rollins, uh, born and raised along the banks of the Red River near Hollis, Oklahoma. And I'm thinking I was talking to Rick, our producer, that's near, certainly near Texas. And speaking of Texas, you've been all over continental U.S. I don't know if you've been to Hawaii you know, or in Alaska with the chuck wagon. I doubt it. That would be a hard ride. But but as you go across the nation, your popularity is growing. Is it difficult logistically to get around with your with your Bertha Wood Stove and Christina Mobile Wood Stove? And I look at all the things I doubt you're, you're moving Bertha around, but is that difficult, the kind of the supply chain, or is that what you were born and raised to do as a master of the chuck wagon? Well, we've hauled it a little everywhere, and I, and I have cooked in Wasilla, Alaska many years ago. I uh, didn't have the chuck wagon there, but I cooked uh, a some biscuits and a peach cobbler for some friends of ours that had seen us on TV and flew us up there. So I've marked that and off the list and still waiting to cook in Hawaii. And I'll get that done one of these You'll days. You'll get but, it done. Shannon's know. probably like, yes, please. Let's go to Hawaii next time. And guess where we're doing the show from, Kent? Wasilla. Sarah Palin country. So I love that. They are. They was good people. And we had a good time. But no, we've, um, we've been from the West Coast to the East Coast and from North to South. And, um, I'm always amazed at, at people that have uh, never seen what we do or a traditional working chuck wagon. You know, it was really the first Meals on Wheels ever invented, and uh, 
it's all got its place on a trailer when we're going across the country and we don't travel as much as we used to. We stay pretty busy with an online business and YouTube. Uh, we still cook for some working ranches because I'll never give that up. That's where I got my start. Uh, worked as a cowboy for a long time and then went to cooking and cowboys respected me a lot because I've been from both sides of the fire, from the Brandon fire to the cook fire. And, uh, Hey, we, we're just blessed to have another day every day, and we make the most of it. Well, on YouTube, what made you decide to get onto YouTube? I know it's not about the money, and you get monetized, and you have to make a living, but I think that you, it certainly, you exuded in your videos. You and Shannon, you, you really care. You care about our nation. You care about its people, and you care about good, healthy eating. And, and the tips you give, uh, I mean, I think it's profound because, as you said, you're going all over the place. People are inviting you there. You're, we'll get into some of the TV shows you've been on. But what made you transition, let's say, from doing your own TV show to being a YouTube celebrity? Well, you know, about seven, eight years ago, we Shan come up with this idea we ought to do a few videos. And, and we did one or two or three, you know, and never paid it much mind. And... As things went on, people began to say, hey, you know, you need to do some more of these videos. And uh, so really we sort of kicked off really hard about probably five years ago uh, off and on. And then we figured out we can reach so many people. Uh, we can go all around the world. And uh, this Internet is a great thing. And when you're in control of what you produce and what you can say, uh, it just made it a whole lot easier for us to spread the good news of faith and of family and food and friends and fellowship. And uh, it began to grow and grow and grow. And we thought, you know, instead of going and catering for 100 people this weekend, I think I'm going to shoot three videos. You know, And uh, we want people to feel like family uh, when they watch our videos. And we always tell them, uh, y'all are family to us, everyone that watches our videos. And and we appreciate each and every one of them. We make it, never take it for granted. And people always say, you know, you need your own TV show. And I say, well, we, we have one every Wednesday at 2.30 Central Time on YouTube because we get to say God bless America. Uh, we get to say the things that we think need saying, and, and we're in control of it. Hallelujah, brother. We're talking with Cowboy Kent Rollins, and I'm looking right now at Cowboy Kent Rollins' YouTube page and folks the channel you want to subscribe you want to click that bell right here pork chops banana bread get that fire hot i'm looking at oh wood stove sourdough fried egg bacon you we can go on and on we're going to come right back with him we're going to talk about what it's like to defeat that's right to defeat bobby flay we're also going to talk about some of the products they're selling i saw the yeti and guess what everybody i have a blue yeti coffee cup they are to die for you can get some through his website we'll also talk about his books and he has a new one with his wife shannon cowboy kent rollins right here on the tom anderson show Cowboy Kent Rollins, a YouTube sensation, but, you know, he's also been on TV, and listen to this resume, Throwdown with Bobby Flay, season 80, defeats Bobby Flay, Chicken Fried Steak, Chop Grill Masters, Chop Redemption, Cutthroat Kitchen Champion, I might add. He also holds an undefeated record, at least the time of this interview, on NBC's Food Fighters. So, Kent, you're out and about, you're you're busy as a bee and a person of faith, to boot. So I'm sure that whether it be family or faith or traveling in the country, you're, you're always doing something, but do, do you have time to enjoy some of the meals you make at home with family or are you on the road constantly? Well, we, uh, I, people always ask me, they say, I don't know why you're no, you don't weigh 400 pounds as much as you cook. And I tell them, I see it a lot. I don't eat much. Uh, you know, I've stood by fire for going on 35 years now, making a living. And, uh, my mother always taught me, cook what you love, love what you cook. And the joy of cooking is watching the folks eat it that's gathered at your table and the smile on their face. And that's what's kept me cooking for so long because I, I do like to see people uh, take a bite of something and say, man, I, I, I've never eaten anything this good in my life. And I sure you didn't know you could do it over a fire or with a Dutch oven. So uh, still we come up, you know, I have to do three new recipes a week. Some of, some of them don't work, the beagle and the duke get them and um but it's when i find something that does uh you know I, it it still brings a uh, joy to me but when i can give it to shannon and say hey i think this is a winner and i can see that smile well then i know hey 
this will make a video. Yeah, Chop Grill Master showed that. It was definitely indicative of how good you are because you watch the the celebrity chefs there say, oh, my goodness, folks, you can check that out online. Speaking of Shannon and yourself and your books, uh, Faith, Family, and Feast, folks, you can get that at KentRollins.com, and you'll see the website on our screen there in the video. Also, A Taste of Cowboy. Now, that's a new one, correct? Uh, Faith, Family, and the Feast is Feast is the new book. A Taste of Cowboy came out five years ago, and it's one of Amazon's top picks for 100 books owned in a lifetime. And uh, uh, The Faith Family and the Feast come out March 17th, and uh, it has been a bestseller on Amazon. We have uh, signed many a copy and sent it out the door. Yeah, it's huge. And, folks, you can get a signed copy if you go to KentRollins.com and contact Kent and Shannon. By the way, one of my favorite magazines, Cowboys and Indians magazine, folks, I encourage you to read that and subscribe as well. And back in March, just a couple months ago, Kent and, and Shannon were there, were in that magazine and featured in a really great story. Also, I was looking at, at KentRollins.com, and you have weekly cooking episodes that you alluded to. And then you also have your monthly newsletter for events, and people can basically track you, right? If some of you're kind of like a, like a, uh, you know, a musician, where I'm sure you have the folks that really, really enjoy you enough to want to follow you, or at least trek over to you if if you're close. And do you keep people updated with your event appearances? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. We do, Tom. We uh, on our website. There's an event page that people can go to and find out, you know, where we're going to be and when that's going to take place. And uh, you know, with the COVID deal coming out, we're supposed to start the book tour the 16th of March, and it went and nearly plumbed through May, and in different places, and uh, that had to be canceled. But we're going to try to make it all up to folks because I'm a very personable kind of guy. I like to shake hands, give people a hug, tell them how much I appreciate it. So. I'm going to try to get back to them places and, uh, and visit with everybody because my mother always told me, if they got time to watch and visit, you got time to work to visit with them back. Yeah, absolutely. Your mama was right, I sure think. You know, you're some say you're like a Will Rogers or a Mark Twain. That's how I led the interview, and it's true. You're a, you're a humorist. You're a storyteller. I want to get into that and what inspired you probably your roots, but I, I want the folks to hear it. Before we get to that, though, folks, if you go to KentRollins.com, you're going to see some really neat accessories and things you can purchase. Cooking products. Can you tell me some of your favorites and what you'd recommend? And by the way, we didn't pre-plan this. I just, I think I'm going to purchase some on his site because they look pretty darn dandy and fun for cooking. What do you recommend? I know you're going to say all of them, but what are some favorites of yours and Shannon's? Well, the the original seasoning I made about 35 years ago uh, just started out as a, as a rub for brisket and stuff like that. And then uh, I got to using it in, on a little of everything, and it soon took the place of salt and pepper in my house, and it goes on, on anything from meat to salad to macaroni and cheese. And um, so many times people ask us, you know, you cook with mesquite. It gives that great wood flavor. So we made a mesquite seasoning that's got a little of that flavor in it. Um, we, we stand behind our products. I've never had nobody that wasn't satisfied in anything that we've sent to them. And, uh, hey, it's uh, all made right here in America. That's right. That's the way it should be. Humorous storytelling. How did you get into that? And, and how does that uh, weave into your, your chuck wagon, your, your efforts when, when you're touring? Well, uh, I, I made a D in speech class, Tom, when I was in high school. I had to get up in front of people and talk to them. And um, my dad went through a long battle of cancer about three different times. It took about 25 years before it, the chemo got him. And uh, being able to write down the way I felt, whether it be in story form or poetry, it sort of helped me deal with it and let me know what was going going on really in my mind. And then when Shan got together with me, she, she'd hear all these old stories as we're going down the road, and she said, you need to write a blog. And I said, I would if I could spell it. And I said, I don't know if I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, she got me to writing more stories. And um, then I thought, you know, if you can get this with food, I'd tell people I can burn your food and your ears at the same time. That's and, right. Uh, That's a so good combo. We, we try to share with folks, you know, some some of the knowledge that was passed down from them old cowboys and them old cooks that I was around so many years ago, but really humor, because my dad told me when he was going through cancer, if you can't laugh at life, you're in the wrong business, because 
uh, you ain't gonna make it long. Whatever it throws at you, hey, just grin and laugh. It's the truth. We're talking with Cowboy Kent Rollins. You can check out his books with his wife, Shannon, and where they've been and what they're doing and when they're going next at KentRollins.com. Of course, you'll want to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Why? The biggest deal is then you'll get an update by email if you ring the bell there, and you'll know. And he's not bugging you. I mean, I'm one of his subscribers, and every intermittently you get a video. I mean, some of these folks are doing something every hour. Kent's not like that, and I can attest to that fact. And then that pops in. Looking at everything from sourdough to bacon, do you have any favorites? And I know you get asked that with every interview, but I can't help it. We're making a video out of this one, and I want the public to know. I know you want them to watch all all of your videos because they'll get a glimpse of what they can make and make it tasty. But what are your favorites? Well, one of my most favorite videos we did uh, about a month and a half ago, I guess, maybe two. And that was a remake of the Big Mac. And we did it our version and uh, uh, used about a, oh, a full pound of meat in there. And it made quite the Big Mac. It did with our own special sauce that goes with it. And it's got over three million views now. And it's something that I still cook every once in a while because it's just it's something I like to eat. But, uh, uh, shoot, there's there's so many. I'll, I'll give the viewers up, up, up there and the listeners a little heads up. There's a, a video coming out tomorrow, and y'all will be the first ones to know it, that is uh, a smoked meatloaf and probably some of the best eating I've had uh, in several years. I'd worked on this recipe off and on and cooked it on ranches a time or two, but it is fine dining. Oh, that's smoke me love I'm right here on the Tom Anderson show breaking news. That'll be May 20th. Okay. So another question, do you ever collaborate with other YouTube stars? We have some forthcoming. We got Randy Santel this week, who's a professional food eater. And we've got some folks in the queue, the folks that can eat the peppers and the capsation and super hot. We're trying to get Johnny Scoville on with his popular YouTube channel. In your case, do you ever collaborate with other YouTube hosts? We do. Uh, we worked with some folks out of Arizona there for a while, and uh, Arizona Ghost Rider, and he's sort of a historian that goes back through some of the old Western stuff. Uh, we we had three deals scheduled uh, this spring uh, that we've had to reschedule or put in hold, and one of them is some good friends of mine, the Townsends up there. Uh, they have a great channel. But, uh, you know, we're always interested in trying to help somebody out or share some cooking with somebody else and try a new recipe. Yeah, that's the way to go. Faith, Family, and Feast, that's their latest book. Kent and Shannon Rollins, you can purchase it at kentrollins.com. Weekly cooking episodes, if you go to their YouTube channel and subscribe, which I encourage you to do, a monthly newsletter for events, and, of course, those cooking products he just touched on, which makes me hungry. Also, get that other book, A Taste of Cowboy. Kent, anything you want to let Alaskans know? we got about a minute left, or the United States, because we're going to promote this all over the place. Any message after COVID-19? Well, uh, we will come out the other side stronger than we were. Uh, my mother always told me, the cream rises to the top, and that's what we are, folks. We're going to rise to the top of this and be a better better place, and uh, there's always a lightning in every cloud, and this one's going to be silver and have a lot of rainbows. I love the people in Alaska. We have a lot of subscribers from there, and I thank you, Tom, so much. Uh, you're a gracious host for having us on. Uh, may the good Lord take an lesson liking to you, and may you have a great day above the grass, my friend. Well, you're so kind. Bless you, my friend. You and Shannon and family, keep up the good work. You're definitely an inspiration to Americans. And by the way, Made in America, God-fearing, that's Cowboy Kent Rollins. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go to KentRollins.com to purchase some of those awesome books. Kent, God bless you. It's the Tom Anderson Show.